What's going on guys and welcome to today's video and uh, as you can see got the wife here and uh, we are in the TRX and we've got a trailer that's empty behind us and we're driving to go pick something up and yeah as the title or the or the uh, thumbnail yeah we're, we're buying another WJ um, uh, again I, I have no clue why yes I know the content is very repetitive but I'm doing this to save the WJs, and that, that's what we gotta do. This thing is a 04 Laredo. Um, it's relatively cheap on Facebook. It's missing a bumper cover, and it looks filthy dirty like they all are at this point. So, I don't know, it looks like one we're saving. It's only got 155,000. I understand that is a ton of miles, but it's not 255,000. So. Uh, I don't know. It, I think it's one worth savings. Now, if you guys don't see this video, that means we got there, looked at it, and it was a rusted out pile of garbage, and we never took it home. But if you're seeing this, this probably means that it's on the back of the truck, or will be on the back of the truck, and we're dragging the thing back home. So, I don't know. I, um, she, I'm blaming her for the silver 2004, since she kind of saw it on the street. Um, but this one, obviously, I found on Facebook. But again, we've, we've got to save them all. Well, what will I do with this one? Yeah, probably just fix it up, get it running, get it everything maintained like it's supposed to be, and, and sell it, unfortunately. That's what I did with the 2001. That one got all fixed up. We did our little lift. Um, the 04 that I'm currently working on, you know, I put my little two inch lift. We've got the tires off the old Burgundy Jeep on it. We just put a transmission in it. And again, it will get sold. I can't just collect these things, but we can at least get them off the side of the road or out of people's driveways and hopefully into the hands of somebody that will care about them. I don't know, we, we can at least try. It's giving them a second chance on life and that's that's what we're doing. So yes, these are getting sold, but at least they're in a better place than where they were or where they currently are. So guys, we still got a little bit of driving left. We'll pick this thing up. We're trailering it just because I have no clue of the condition of it. I would hate to just assume something could drive a couple of hours home and it lay down on us 30 minutes outside of town. So I don't know. We'll, we'll trailer it home and see what fine piece of machinery we've got today. So I didn't really film the uh, pickup or purchase interaction. Um, I looked it over, made a quick lap around the block to make sure the engine and or transmission worked and loaded the dumb thing on the trailer. So we'll look at it really quickly and then I'm gonna get the trailer dropped off because I've got it stored somewhere and they close and whatever. But, but like I said, this thing is an 04 Laredo, um, only has 155,000. So relatively not horribly high for a 04 tired old Jeep. But if we look on this side, it, it looks decent, you know, filthy, dirty. Yes, I know um, it's got bald tires. We do have a cracked tail light so that that will have to be replaced. Factory trailer tow, which is pretty cool. Um, little dent up here. Uh, yeah, relatively decent. Underneath is not rusty. It is filthy, dirty, but it is not rusting apart. If you guys know WJs, um, they can rust kind of bad here on the body and on the rocker areas. And this thing, yes, dirty, but it is not rusty. But walking back up the driver's side, we are doing pretty decent. We do have a little dent here on the fender, but the front bumper, yeah, we, we've got a dent there too. But front bumper is missing because of this over here um it hit something obviously but we didn't get into the frame rail that frame rail is nice and straight not kinked not whatevered so i'm hoping i can get a hook under here hook up to something and just pull this out i think once we pull this out it's going to move that fender back down since the fender mounts to it and everything will be pretty good-ish or at least good enough for an 04 Jeep Grand Cherokee. Um, so yeah, it it's exciting that this one runs and drives because like you guys know, the last one definitely did not do that. But yeah, uh, four liter inline six 
Um, and it's, yeah, it, it's pretty dirty inside, but it is not stinky like the other one, but just low trim, cloth seats, nothing too exciting in here. It just needs a good cleanup, but here's the best part of it. It starts. So that in itself is exciting. We've got decent oil pressure. Uh, we're, we're charging and uh, yeah, it it's really not a bad place to be. We've got a steering wheel cover that may be hiding bad steering wheel under there, but honestly, it's kind of all there. We're gonna need to find some shift bezel pieces to get that looking right. But man, it it's kind of all there other than that front end. So I'm gonna get this thing unloaded and then we're gonna kind of do a, a little back roads drive home since we're dropping the trailer off. So it'll be our first drive um, in this Jeep that I haven't even looked over or pulled the dipstick on. So <laughs> we'll hope it goes well. All right guys, so we are doing the first drive here as we just dropped the trailer off and now I've got to drive this Jeep home um, that I haven't even looked at or you know, even checked oil, like I said. So uh, the tires are all flat, so it, it feels pretty bad just trying to accelerate, um, but it uh, it so far is a Jeep. Um, seems to be shifting through the gears fine. I honestly don't really hear even axle bearing noise like the other 2004, the V8 Jeep has screaming axle bearing. So. I don't know. It, it feels good buying one and just being able to drive it instead of having to be able to even fix, you know, and figure out what the heck is even wrong with the thing before it'll even move. It, it, it gives me confidence on <laughs> being able to put this one back together. Obviously, we're going to have to pull that kind of front bumper support thing out some. Um, but yeah, uh, you know, what, what will I do with this one now? I think the wife, um, who is behind me in the TRX playing uh, chase vehicle right now, so when I break down with a, with a Jeep with no tags, with no proof of ownership, um, she, she's gonna be right behind me, hopefully blocking the back of the vehicle. But, uh, you know, what's the plans? Now, I think she is planning on me buying and selling every WJ in the Kansas area in order to help fund our new home that we are building. Um, so I, I think that's the plan. Y yes, like I said, I'd love to keep all of them, but I can't just collect WJs forever. So if I'm able to buy them relatively cheaply or brokenly, do a few things to them, do all the maintenance, and get a nice Jeep back on the road and then sell it and yes, uh, make a few thousand dollars, then to me, I feel like I'm doing a service to the Jeep or Jeep WJ community since I'm keeping them on the road and keeping them out of the salvage yards for a little bit longer. And yes, I'm putting a little bit of money in my pocket to fund or to go towards the new home build project, whatever, because it's very expensive to build a home right now. Um, so so yeah, that, that's the plan. What, what do I do to all of them? I put a little small lift, I put some cool all-terrain tires, fix everything, and then unfortunately, we'll have to let it go. Um, the 01, like I said, is sold and gone. A nice couple bought that that are going to tow it behind their RV. Um, so perfect vehicle with a manual transfer case, the 04. We're still in process of fixing that thing and, and now we've got another 04 that we're gonna have to fix up. But this one runs and drives and that makes me feel so much better about it. So guys, yes, I know an, another WJ on the channel. I'm, I'm sorry for the repetitive content, but it's something that I'm comfortable with. I, I know how to fix them. I know how to work on them. And that, that makes me just keep buying these darn things. So that's what we're doing. Uh, we'll, we'll have another one that we're gonna do a little body repair on and uh, make it look cool and clean it up and, and do all those things. So guys, thanks, uh, thanks for coming along on a little road trip picking up another lost WJ puppy off the side of the road and getting it hopefully back on the road in one piece, looking much better than it's looked in many, many years. So guys, we'll, we'll keep doing what we do. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll catch you guys next time.